The three formulas that we're going to need to solve each part of the question are presented here. So the first one we'll use is the resonance frequency formula for an RLC circuit, which is the resonance frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of the inductance times the capacitance. The second one that we'll use is the impedance formula. Now the impedance is equal to the square root of the resistance squared plus the inductive reactance minus the capacitive reactance squared. The last one we'll use is a form of Ohm's law, which is delta V is equal to I times the impedance. We use this form because we're dealing with an AC circuit. The first thing we need to do is to figure out the resonance frequency. Then we'll take that resonance frequency and plug it into the impedance formula. Now at resonant frequencies, the impedance is simply equal to the resistance squared. This is true because the inductive reactance should be equal to the capacitive reactance. Here I have shown what happens when you plug in all the numbers, and this will be a good practice for the next subsequent parts of the question. You'll find that you should get an impedance of 30 ohms. Next, we need to find the current, and we'll simply divide the voltage by the impedance. This will give us a current of 4 amps. Now to find the power, we'll simply use the formula P is equal to I squared R. We'll plug in the values and we'll get that the power delivered is 480 watts. For part B, it's asking what happens when you have one half the resonant frequency. So half of the resonant frequency will be 26.6 hertz. Next we'll plug it back into the impedance formula. So we'll get the resistance squared, and this time, instead of using 53.1, we'll be using 26.6 hertz for the frequency. This will give us an impedance of 1,494.6 ohms. Next, we'll need to find the current, and we'll simply take the voltage of 120 volts, and we'll divide it by the impedance, which is 1,494.6 ohms. This will give us a current of about 0 0.08 amps. Next, we'll plug this into the power formula, and we'll get a power delivered of about 0.192 watts. Part C is asking when you have one-fourth the resonant frequency. At one-fourth the resonance frequency, you'll have about 13.3 hertz. Once again, we'll be plugging this into the impedance formula, and we'll get an impedance of about 3740.4 ohms. We'll go ahead and find the current, and we'll get a current of about 0 0.03 amps. Next, we'll find the power, and we'll find that we'll get a power of about 0 0.027 watts. At this point, it becomes quite repetitive. It's simply plugging and chugging in the numbers. So for part D, when we have twice the resonance frequency, we'll have a frequency of 106.2 hertz, We'll go ahead and plug that into the impedance formula, solve for the current, and then solve for the power, and we get a power of 0.192 watts. Part E is asking when you have four times the resonance frequency. So once again, you'll take the resonance frequency and multiply it by four to get 212.4 hertz. You'll go ahead and plug that into the impedance formula, and then find the current, and find that you'll have a power of about 0 0.027 watts. So in conclusion, the maximum power will be delivered at the resonance frequency. The whole question is pretty much proving that at the resonance frequency, that's when things will happen.